snip it off but I find that a lot better better way of doing it and I'll just get my roof I haven't really over gone to town on cleaning this up and just just shut it in and then when it all goes in push it down and everything looks pretty lined up a little bit more trimming to do there a bit of cleaning here some reason we have a lip printer yeah. that size pretty perfect so there's a little bit of clean up there it's just catching something just pull it out Support or something there, uh, just stopping it. But like I said, just just a bit of a foul. But you 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 you'll get the general idea, and then the the roof will just click into into place. Sits there, That's a lovely, lovely, perfect. So I've took a little bit much there really that they can put you the lad in later when you do your body work. So that's the basic cab together. But pretty strong, it's definitely strong enough to sand and, and, and do everything you need to do at it. Um, what I'll tend to do me when I've just done 88 here is I've, I've gone over it with 240 grit sandpaper before yeah. and, and basically what you're doing with 240 you have like a shine on it I'm just taking some of that shine off I'm just like nibbing it really you, you know like that and, uh, but I'll do all panels and just sit down and have a half an hour just, just, just taking most of it off and you, you feel it's quite quite smooth they are, they are very good for 3D prints but then when you've done that and you get your dull you, you know, you've took the shine off and then you'll look and you'll see the lines they are very very shallow but when you look at it like you'll see what it's shiny so if you're very patient you can keep going over it with sandpaper until you, until you get it all dull or if you're impatient like me you'll get some spray filler and give it a couple of coats see that's just about got it there but it's yeah so like I said, I've sat down with all these parts before I started and just give them a... It, it is good to do it before you, you start preparing something because any little lumps or little nibs, you, you, you just like denibbing it, I suppose you call it. You just take a off. Well, like I said, and then... Let me point it next. Next part. Um, I'll just leave roof on to... Thing it and then you've got your, your bottom grill. Now with this, if I remember correctly, it goes in there like that. Again, I've not already done the cleaning on this, and that will glue in again. Test fit, bit of glue, but again, don't glue it if you want that a different colour. You, you know, there's nothing. As long as you know your fits in and your fits right and you, you clean it, it's, it's, it doesn't need gluing in at this stage. Um, if you're going to have it all as one colour, you can glue it in. But if you want it a different colour, I, I would paint it and then glue it in later. Like, like we do with Tamiya, really. Um, bottom bumper then. Um, I can't remember this bottom bumper, how I had it. Uh, I think I just glued it. Glue it like that again, personal preference. Uh, just check your fit, make sure you're, you're right. Um, you glue it to the bottom of that, or, or I think what I did, I glued it to me to me mount. Uh, but you do have your steps, steps on it. You just just check your fit. Like I said, there's a bit of a bow in that, so there's something not just quite quite lining up somewhere. Check, check them. A bit of a, a file, make sure there's no 
They're not, they're actually very smooth, that, so it's not the problem's not there, so problem is probably here. And just do the clean up again. Run the file, you'll feel any lumps. I think this set of files, I mean, you can buy them, they come with a set of big files like that, a set of these, and, and not not a right lot of money. I think even that like all the not have been known to have them. So like I said, just looking down it. Just taking any bits of lumps off. Same with this, just, just make sure there's nothing on it. Where is that? Rub, rub your file and you'll see them, then. It's okay. And like I said, that then fits, I think, here, in there, and it'll glue in. In there, there's something just catching that in, and there's something not happy there. Oh, it's a, it's a, just a bit. So it goes and then it'll just oh, that's it just, just pushes up and then like i said when you're ready if, if, if you're not bothered if you're gonna mask it paint it glue it in now or you, you know i i paint it and then put it on like your, your final assembly and then bumper that much stake and goes somewhere around there but i think i had that connected on my my mount and then that's about it for outside it cab now I'm just looking at bits and this thing so it's just pulled my roof pull the roof off and then again dashboard you, you clean it up and paint it and decorate it and then that will just sit like, like that, it will just sort of drop in, literally drop in like that, and you glue it to, to mount. Just no, like that ain't going to work, is it? And then these will bolt to your chassis. On, on one side, I think it's the what is our near side, they, they've bolted to existing existing holes um, you put it on there and then you have a jig and then what you do you bolt that into one of them holes there goes across the gearbox the chassis to the other side um, take this out put that in your chassis put a bolt in line it up to the side drill it and then for the, for the scanner you'd use the top and the bottom for this one you just drill one all there drill that move it to the next one and and drill it um it, it, it's just like a drill jig to so you've got them both lined up cor correctly across the the, the the chassis like that so then then this is the back bump back shelf it's it's a bit tight going in and um, what it does if you're gonna have your battery and everything in your cab you can put a battery across here or put your speed controller and your your ESC in. It is a bit bit of a tight one this so it, but basically I don't glue it in, it just, just sits in like, like that and then but like I said you can use it, you can get them underneath here if you look so you could depends what size battery you use your speed control and that can go under there. I don't bolt these to my chassis, they, they, they locate at front and then sit at back so and then we have a again air file. Um, these are converted to right hand drive. Um, I'm not really sure what side these go on, so I'm presuming that. So that, that, that's in there. Again, you paint it and, and put it in. I'm, I'm not going to glue it now. 
I might do another video when I come to like final seven and your seats if you look down here and you look at that bolt and you put your seats in it, it hits it so what I do really is, is now to be honest I, I glue that in I take these screws here put, put some glue in put some activator on set it um, pull that back run down it with some glue don't drop your dash off for it it's a good job it's not been into it isn't it um, and, and just just glue the base in um, when you're ready I don't really need that in there no, no, no. Just, just, yeah, there we are. a bit of trimming and a bit of cap there yeah. that's that there is something that just, just wants fouling up there isn't it so, um, There's your dash. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's that just sits in there. Your seat will obviously two seats. And uh, you put one in there and one in there. You'll have two of these in. In here again I, I'd spray this because I'd have that like say blue and then I'd paint them black so again they'll get glued in after they just sit straight in there there's not a lot of work to do them a little bit of rubbing off of your fingers there's two of them they're all in later and if we just look look on the end here I'll tip this out and there's just it's steering column in it. That's mm. this is for your steering column. Again, you just gotta do the clean. <coughs> Excuse me. Steering wheel will glue to the top, and then that will glue under there like that. Um, <laughs> just there. Uh, yeah, it's a bit fiddly, isn't it? Really. <laughs> and then you, 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 obviously your steering, steering wheel will go on it. Um, if you wanted it a bit shorter, I'd be tempted to just to cut it off. There is an all down there actually, isn't there? So mm -hmm. no, I'm not just sure if that goes in the hole. I think it goes that way in. That thing, but that really wants cleaning up before you put your put these on. Uh, I didn't do that. I basically cut it down a bit, got it in position. And just glued it to my dash, um, and then glued, glued obviously my steering wheel on. To me, that's a bit high, so so like you said, I just trimmed that. I, I didn't really use it. I think you clean it up and that, and you, the, down the bottom there, it, is, you, 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 it, it should have been cleaned up really before we started, and make sure it fits. If you, if you look down bottom, bottom in there, there's a hole for that. Make sure that fits if you if you want to put your dash in. Um, steps. Um, I'm sure they want bumper. Uh, I put put mine up bumper. Okay, yeah, like that. And then your steps. I'll just glue. I I glued them. They do have holes in these, so whether you put a hole or a bit of a screw in or whatever, but when I paint them, just just, just glue them into position. Two steps, um, side indicators there. Um, these are made so you just paint them. I think in the glass, we have it in, in glass, so you could paint it with orange. That's it there. Deflectors. Bit of a funny one, these. Uh, I'm not a lover of them, um, but basically, what I do is double sided tape tabs, the, the, the foam tape, put a piece in there like that, and peel it off, and that will give you just a nice standoff from, from the cab without. Thing. I, I wouldn't glue them like flat, I, I like them just 
stuck me a bit of a gap so and i found the best way of that is, is foam tape and then they do get it they do get broke just get a couple more off us take them off put your next ones on um i find they get but these are pretty strong they're, they're, they're a good print they're the nicest one but i've had that many disasters with them even on real wagons and i don't think ever on the real wagon that had both of them on at any one time unless they were new um that's them and then your red lights you have two four four big ones they just literally click in there click in there like that um clear them off all it back for led and obviously you'll have to clean the thing out and they were literally just clicking just, just pushing and then once once the paint and everything like you said look dab of glue dab the glue but they literally just push in you, you, you know, that's it and then the two which is actually these go in the the bumper same same thing just drop it in little tab of glue and it's in even if you just glue it from back um but like i said i'm not going to glue them in now because they will be painted i think silver or whatever and then obviously then there's a set of lenses which is glue in there to um, grill, a bit of work on grill, a bit of a bath, just, just again, just a, just a little file, and just keep giving it a clean. I find them better to do when I primed them. Um, it seems to take them little niggly bits off, but it's just the downside of the 3D printing is it does need support without support if you, it, you could do it flat but you'll end up with a series of, of steps up and down the grill um but yeah that that's it so just just a bit of a clean but like i said i do them initially and then what i'll do i won't worry too much when i've sprayed it and that, that seems to like help it come off a lot cleaner and a lot better it's a bit of a faff but it, 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 it does allow us to have cabs that, that really won't, won't be available unless you scratch scratch build them um even with what bit of work you have at finishing and everything else it still allows us to to do it i think that's a brilliant i have cf f 86s cfd cabs lfs that i've done all sorts um and it's far easier than when I used to scratch build them out of paper mache and you know all sorts of things really <laughs> um, and especially now when you can you can buy a printer and get the fat and basically download these files off the internet um, and away you go there's your grill again paint it up glue it in I'm not I'm not going to do it now and then some of these wipers um, yeah, so, so that's basically to always do again the main shell, which is, which is just once once you've got these the one, two, three, four pieces and base square and, and level, you're there. You know, as you've just seen, it's it doesn't take a long time. If you use super glue with activator, it is very quick. Um, and like I said, glue your base in or that's it in and i think you'll find the look look pretty good uh i do have some clean up to do up back of here and and that on this here here's a tip um if you look at these it prints it for and it leaves it quite strandy so i'll show you, show you what i do with, with that if you, if you encounter it or if, like if we were sending this out we'd probably do this anyway so because what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna run I won't do it in the glue would work. Um, what I should do, I have a needle and I should put my needle in, shouldn't I really? And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it gently together. And I'm just going to rub glue. No, I get my needle. I'll 
left, left the glue out on, on its own. It's really light on it. It's just really neatly. And we'll start again. I'm just going to get the glue, but I'm just going to. I think we're getting the glue, but we're not. Not playing that, is it? That's what you get with leaving it out, isn't it? With not put it top back, put it put a needle in. Usually you put needle in or a, a wood tap is quite good. Just gonna see if I got it in. I should imagine so. I'm just gonna run No, just pause it and sort this out. It's a bit of a dick. Okay. Well, we've sorted the goal out now. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run down here with super glue. Like that. And I'm just going to push it gently together. Can you see it bores? I'm just going to rub some glue in it. One end to the other. And the best thing to do is a pair of nitrile gloves and just very quickly just wipe it. I'm using my hands and I shouldn't. And then what you want to do is just, just pull it apart like that and then just activate it. Alright. Go on. Right. Just, just, just pulling it apart, just, just keeping a little bit of pressure on the. And then what you'll find is you can go in there and then any loose strands will get glued back together it will give it a little bit more strength and then you can just get some sandpaper and just sand it and, but that that same anyway if you, uh, on any any 3d printed stuff or, or even plastic you, you just use the glue and it'll bond it bond it together better than, than heat you, you know so yeah so you find pretty much Pretty much there with that. Um, right now we're there. I won't prime this and uh, give it a rub down and start with that. What what we want to do together? If the face is in roof. Like I said, it's got locators. One, two, three, four, and then I put these bits in here. They just act like pillars at the top of the door. Click that into position. Should go. Make sure you don't blow it to that. <laughs> Not a bit of laugh, it? And then obviously when you with roof, I, I, I don't glue the roof down at all. I, I leave my roof off because that, that gives me the option to put radio in. I don't have to have a battery under my chassis and, and stuff like that. Put it on bunk and cover it up with, with, with like a, a make-up sleeping bag type of thing. Um, electrics on the cab and I can just pop my roof off, go in. Do what I want, and also you get to decorate the cab, and then you have access. Um, the XG we opening doors is brilliant, but I still prefer the the, the roof off. Um, whether that XG one stops off or gets glued and filled, I don't know. But like I said, you do have doors, but yeah. So you do you, you just check fit before you glue, and jobs are good. One. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if any questions, put them in the comments and feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later.